particular, Brother Derek and his family is going to provide the music for us tonight. It's just a joy to have them come and share with us uh, uh, tonight. Immediately following the singing, uh, our folks have prepared uh, ice cream, homemade ice cream, so forth downstairs, and lots of little odds and ends. So I hope you'll stay long enough to, to enjoy some good fellowship uh, downstairs. Just before a call from Derek, we don't want to be dismissed without reading a little scripture. Uh, one of, I, I love the Word of God. I love the songs. They're my devotionals that I use often. But the hundred songs always been a blessing to me. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to uh, enter into his presence tonight with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all uh, generations. So we love the word of God. And uh, again, thank you so much for coming tonight. And I hope you enjoy what we have planned for tonight. And we love you much. And any other church that's represented other than Hurricane Chapel, God bless you. It's good to have each one of you as well as our regular folks. This time, without any further ado, we're going to turn it over to uh, Brother Derek and his family. So y'all come. Let's give them a hand at this time. Amen. Well, I almost forgot Keith. Uh, I had a little request. Yeah. We're okay. Little Keith over there after get up here after a while. What would you say? He runs nine and you own seventy five. <laughs> heaven and it talks about if that don't make you want to go so just listen to the words uh, me and some of the ladies were talking downstairs before the service and you know we were talking about all the things that's happened uh, here lately just even in the last month in the whole world but in the United States too and uh, we were talking about how we we believe before Jesus comes back his people are going to be crying out to him and asking him to come and get them and, you know, this is the thing. When we get to heaven, there is so much that we have to look forward to. It, the Word tells us that we can't even imagine in our mind how wonderful heaven's going to be. And I know I cannot wait to go whenever it's his time for me to go. I, 
I, I'm excited. And, you know, when we, we talk often about when we have loved ones that's already gone there, and that's wonderful, but just the thought that we walk by faith, but when we get to heaven, we won't walk by faith anymore. We will be able to see the one who died for us, who uh, paid for our salvation, and I, I can't wait to go. back here. I'm glad I, it's our third time back here now. Um, it's, it's good to see a, a lot of people we go to church with out, out of Herrick, you know, I'm, I'm glad to see you. I'm glad you came tonight. It means a lot. Um, we just come off of a, a revival out at Stony Point, Free Will Baptist, uh, this past week, and uh, we had a good time out there, and um, the pastor really said that he he felt like he was revived, and he said, uh, at times, he said he felt like he could just he could just see the, the Holy Spirit just coming over the pulpit and just and just coming out, and and we didn't want to leave that feeling. We wanted to, to bring that feeling with us here. We wanted to bring that uh, that spirit of revival to to First Free Will also. So just pray for us tonight as we as we sing the songs that He has laid on our heart, and I just hope you enjoy them and let it be a blessing to you.
totally trust the Lord. As Christians, you know, people in the world don't have him to trust, but where we just have to absolutely trust the Lord. And uh, and I see family members uh, sometimes that's going through things that you can only help so much, and you know that God's going to be the one that has to do it. And, and I've even said, well, God, why can't you just tell us a little bit about what's going to happen so, you know, we, we don't have to worry or fret. But, you know, he doesn't choose to do that, so we just have to learn to trust him and know that even if it looks like it's late and it's not on time for us, he's got it. Uh, the next song we're going to sing is called I Wish. And um, a cousin of mine wrote this song. Actually, he wrote this about my grandmother. And, you know, I often think about if there's ever a time in our society where we need praying grandparents and praying parents, and it is today. And I remember both of my grandparents, praise the Lord, they were prayer warriors and I, I remember just uh, hearing my one grandmother, she had 12 kids, and she would not lay her head down at night until she had called every one of her kids' name in prayer before the Lord. And uh, so I thank the Lord for the heritage that I have, in, you know, as a Christian and in, in what I was brought up in. But, you know, uh, I want to be that to my kids, and I want not only to my kids, but also to those around me. Uh, and if ever our nation needed 
adults to rise up and uh, godly adults and say this is the way that we should live this is the way you know and show them god's way it is it is today and uh if in in my life if someone could write this song about me that would mean more to me than uh any other thing that they could uh tribute me with it would be that I, they knew that i was a prayer warrior and i prayed for them since we've been here last. We have, uh, we have put out a project. It's called uh, It's My Desire. 
And we have a group name now. Our group name is Jordan's Crossing. Um, that'll cut down on the confusion when you go by and see the CD of, of the picture of us and a different name on it. So um, we've got them in the back. Um, feel free to uh, take as many as you want as long as you pay for them. So, um, but no, they, they are, they're $10 a piece, and uh, we would appreciate anything. Um, if you buy them, you just throw them out in the yard. They make good, good garden attachments to keep crows out. Uh, the little shinies on them. But anyway, uh, we appreciate your, your support and your prayers for the ministry. Uh, speaking of the Hensons, this is another one of the Henson songs. Uh, that he will calm the troubled waters of your soul. I forgot how I did this already. Okay, I think I got it. had just gotten saved in the church I grew up with, um, when you would hear uh, preachers uh, preach and if they preached about other idols and things like that, um, even like in the old days when they would go pray to wooden idols or stone idols or whatever they would make, 
that just seemed kind of um, far from us because it was overseas and we didn't really have to deal with that. We might would let other things become idols to us like our jobs or, you know, things like that. But now we are living in a society here in the United States where we are bombarded with other religions that they say that their God is God. And, and not only that, but our kids face this junk in school. and I mean, it's just all the time. It's on TV all the time. But I'm telling you, we have the God that is really the true God, the only God. And these others, though they might think that they're serving a God, they're, it's just, it, it's nothing. Because we um, serve the true God. Our preacher said this morning, and I really liked what he said. He said, God doesn't need us to tell him what to do. He's got it all under control. He doesn't, he, he doesn't go on by what we say or what we think. We can't make an argument to God because we don't have an argument to give to God. It is all, He is who He is. And, and that's really all that you can say. But I thank God that I serve the true living God that what, whatever I need, whatever is going on in my life, that I can turn to Him and I don't have to go do a bunch of junk, but I can just pray, even a silent prayer, and He hears me. So just listen to this song. And this, uh, I, I love the words to this song. It tells us who God is. But in the second verse, it tells us that we should be telling other people about Him because we are surrounded in a society of people that are dying every day. And if they don't know Jesus then they're not going to a very good place. And so that should be, and that's what I've been praying, Lord, you give me your heart for lost souls because in my flesh, I don't always see it. I'll see their faults and want to condemn them for the way that they live. But when we get the love of Jesus in us just right and we love with his heart, we, we see that they're hurting people with the soul that they need to make a decision of where they're going to spend eternity. And every person has a soul and we're going to live eternity someplace. So y'all listen to the words of this song. Let your love shine through me in the 
Show me what I've never seen before. Lord, I long to be your witness, and you can take what's wrong and make it right. And day stars shine down on me, and let your love shine. before service, uh, Brother Tommy requested, and uh, with him being the pastor, I kind of took him a little serious, um, he requested that um, me and my dad play a duet on the piano. Uh, well, come on up. Come on. Yeah, come on. If you're going to play, you better do it now. Now, um, you know, I, I got to looking out just a few minutes ago and seeing, seeing my dad and seeing Daryl and seeing Alvin yeah. It, it all brought back to me the reason why I'm here. I, you know, I grew up on a bus that traveled every weekend. Uh, it, my, my brother's here. He <laughs> knows what I'm talking about. Um, every weekend, you know, ever since we were born, we traveled on a bus and went to the different churches and, and doing this right here. And I'm so thankful that I was allowed the opportunity to be able to keep going something that is really, really precious. You don't see this a lot anymore. And y'all just, y'all pray for us as, as we do this. We be in the Lord's will and he, and we do what he wants us to do. Would you rather sit down or stand up? Are you going to do the pet? I'll do the pet. Okay. Oh. And I said, okay, just keep it simple. That's not because I'm simple-minded, although some of you may disagree <laughs> with that. But the thing is, when I get on here, I'm playing at a 59 per hour speed. He likes to take off and go 75. <laughs> so I said, if you're going to go fast, you better do it simple. So we're going to try it. I hope you all don't get tired of this. But, uh,
about the um, the best portion of, of the program. The bluegrass portion. There you go. <laughs> yeah. uh, the Lord has is, is really blessed me with uh, with with talent and, and you know I'm not trying to say that in a in a boastful way, but he, uh, he has, and I really try to do everything I can with the talent that I have to give it to the Lord. Amen. And um, we, we do this quite a bit. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't like the song, let us sing it anyway. We need to practice. It's a good thing he can play instruments because he's not a comedian, is he? <laughs> or the tone we need you to. really put a damper on that one, I did. <laughs> oh, he ain't never done me nothing, done me nothing but good, nothing but good. Oh, he ain't never done me nothing, done me nothing but good, nothing but good. But Job was righteous and the devil couldn't doubt him. He sure loved to say that there was no doubt about him. But Cursed his body from his feet to his head And told him all his children and his cattle were dead Job thought she came to say, why don't you curse your God and die? But Job said, a woman, you're speaking like foolish child Oh, he, he ain't never done me nothing Done me nothing but good, nothing but good Oh, he, he ain't never done me nothing Done me nothing but good, nothing but good Jesus, I took him as my Savior. I cast my love to the chosen ones and started out for heaven. But soon I was forsaken, and my friends left the one by one. But the Lord walked beside me and never left me alone. He fed me when I was hungry, he cheered me when I was sad. And he has been the dearest friend this child has ever had. Oh, he ain't never done me nothing, done me nothing but good, nothing but good. Nothing, nothing but good, nothing but good. Now history tells of Paul and Carp, is martyred for the gospel's sake. They built a fire around his feet and then tied him to a stake. But the fire could not consume him, so they pierced him with a sword. The blood ran out, put out the fire, but still he praised the Lord. Now all these years have served him, he's done me nothing but good. So I won't repent and I won't repent, just tell me why I should have. Oh, he ain't never done me nothing, done me nothing but good, nothing but good. Oh, he ain't never done me nothing, done me nothing but good, nothing but good. of his love and this is one by the Isaacs also and uh, just listen to the words of it it's got great words you know um, and I tell um, I've been in church most of my life and uh, and I also come from a singing background my family had a singing background but uh, uh, I love that we when God sends us to churches that I love that we can just be with his people and they become like our family uh, anywhere we go, if we're Christians, then we become family. And um, God has a, it may seem like the world is all evil, but the world is not all evil. There is still uh, a group of people that really, truly love the Lord and are living for Him. And I thank God that He places us in, in those, around those people. And so listen to these uh, words. It's just talking about how we should pray for each other because you know what? I might be going through something one day and it might be your prayer that kind of gets me over that. And then one day it, you know, it might be switched. And so that's how God uses us that we, we pray for each other 
to help each other through these uh, trials and yeah. tribulations. testimony it's called it's my desire um and um we we love having her here and she gets to come and sing with us sometimes but um just listen to the words of the song and um god is good and you know what when we want the things of god i believe that that pleases god i i, I believe when he sees the bible tells us that david was a man after god's own heart even though david did commit some sins but God would always see his heart and I believe that David had a heart uh, truly after God uh, and that is my desire and I, I find myself every day that if I'm not real careful I think a lot about Regina and not so much about those around me who are in need and need something but that is my desire is to truly be to have a heart for God that that that's what drives me and that's what keeps me going so uh, listen to the words to this song Oh, oh, oh. 
worship type song that, uh, slash invitation um, this is a combination of two songs it's I love you I love you Lord and I exalt thee and it is this is how you really feel in your heart you know feel free to lift your hands and come to the altar um, just whatever the Lord lays in your heart but um, I hope you enjoy this song
as they close the program out tonight in song, would you come? You know, I've been so impressed. They feel what they're singing. I like that. But I like their testimony. I can tell you with experience, there's nothing like the Lord. Preaching this morning, I told our folks a million dollars wouldn't turn my back away from the Lord and what he's done for me. And uh, I love the song how that, you know, the Lord can calm the storms of your soul. I remember, it hadn't been so long ago, I watched my wife slipping away. She was dying. There was nothing I could do but pray. But you know, with all the hurt that I felt, I know the Lord was there. He gave us a promise in His Word. I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. And He kept that promise. As we prayed, He gave us peace. We spent 60 Christmases together. She lay there dying. A whole life, our lives flashed before me. Just seemed like yesterday. And yet all those years had come and gone. And you know what? He calmed the storms of my soul when I asked him for help at that time. I'm indebted to a lot of church people, our church who prayed for me, prayed for my family. I could feel those prayers. See, that's part of being in the family of God. We pray for one another. Guess why? We love one another because we're brothers and sisters in Christ. So I want to thank you all tonight, Brother Derek. We love you all. And Paige, Regina, we love your family so much. We, we go way back. He was just a young fellow in our youth group years ago. And Daniel here, we remember you all sort of like yesterday. Uh, you know, we had a wonderful relationship with the folks at Hurricane Chapel those years. We were there. And God marched us off to Mississippi, you know. And I, I cried all the way to Mississippi. We, we hated to leave the church because the church was good to uh, Jeanette and I and our family. And, uh, you know, we're, we're blessed to be able to come together like this, our church, their church. We're brothers and sisters in Christ. So thank you so much for coming. We want to have a word of prayer and ask God's blessings on our fellowship downstairs. Let's be standing if you hey, would. And, yes, sir. Hey, um, one thing I wanted to do. Yeah, is, go ahead. And it, uh, if they want to do it, uh, I know da Daryl and Alvin and Daddy all yeah, are here. that'd be good, yeah. Um, Y'all want to do that acapella song you did this morning? Yeah, do that. Come on up here. Yeah, come on, Daryl. Yeah. Hey, you don't get requests like that. I'll come on up here. Did I see somebody walking? No. <laughs> Everybody sit, ain't leaving till y'all do that acapella song, that acapoco song. Well, do it. Come on up here. Come on up here, Daryl. Come on, Daryl. Come on, there, there, there. See, there. They can't do it by themselves. Got to have that bass up there now. Come on. Let's give them a hand. They come. Thank you, uh, brother. I'm glad you're going to do that. You pray for them. Y'all are missing the preacher in this group. Is what it is. We'll get y'all to come sometime and bring Tim up here with you. Now, uh, Derek <laughs> is going to try to do the lead on this. Yes. Um, we, at, at the Harbin Harris traveled for several, several years, and we kind of got back together a couple of years ago, yeah. renamed ourselves Damascus Road. So I guess you can say... Uh, you had to go to Jordan's Crossing to get to Damascus Road yeah. <laughs> tonight. But um, you can blame this on one guy in my church who's here tonight. I'm not going to call his name, but it's the initials of Charlie Gatlin. He got really angry because whenever he went back to help count the money for the ties, we sang. And he doesn't like that. I got a hand, Charlie. He, uh, for some reason, he travels the roads with us. If he's got gas in his car, he'll come see us, and we appreciate that very much. But uh, I was talking to Derek while ago, and he thinks he can do the lead on this. Um, it's an old, old song. Um, and he's the young one of the group, so you can see who doesn't know the words. But the rest of you do. It's called A Beautiful Life. And we do it a cappella. So,
Get your key there. Each day I'll do, each day I'll do a golden deed, a golden deed, by helping the, by, by helping those who are in need, who are in need. My life on earth, my life on earth is but a span, is but a span, and so I'll do, and so I'll do the best. Life's evening sun, Life's evening sun is, sinking low. is sinking low. A few more days, a few more days. And, I must go. and I must go to meet the deeds, to meet the deeds that I have done. That up in the mountains of Virginia, you remember that? And I had a radio program up there. And I, I was preaching up a storm and they, they were in a motel and they cut on the radio and y'all heard my voice. You remember that? I said, Lord, have mercy. Of course, they cut it off when they heard me, naturally. <laughs> oh, no. Let's be standing and have a little word of prayer and bless the refreshments downstairs. And if you're able and can, stay a little while. I'm sure you'll enjoy the fellowship and what the ladies have prepared. Let's go to the Lord in prayer and ask God's blessings on our refreshment. Uh, Brother uh, Alvin, would you lead us in prayer? Our Father, we thank you, Lord, for a beautiful day. Lord, yes. Let us live, Father. We thank you for the preaching this morning with the Lord of your word, the singing tonight, Lord, that we've heard. Lord, we just thank you for being able to, to come back into thy house, Father. Lord, we just pray that you bless each and every one that's here tonight, Lord, bless the ones that could not be here, Lord. We just pray that you bless uh, the uh, the Canaan can family, Lord, as they travel and, and uh, spread your word, Lord, that you be with them, God. Lord, we just pray that you forgive us where we failed you, Lord, and Lord, just bring us back at the next point in time, Lord, that we may worship you in spirit and truth. Again, Lord, forgive us for where we failed you. For you have done all these things in our sweet and precious name. Amen. 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 <coughs> Amen.